Syrian rebels say Hezbollah fighters used this truck to force open roads leading to Wadi Barada before it was destroyed by a rocket, temporarily halting an offensive by pro-government militias. Artillery shells continue to land in rebel positions. Government troops control surrounding hills, giving them high grounds advantage over opposition fighters. Thousands of people are trapped by the fighting. Syrian army commanders say the campaign will continue until they control a strategic water station that provides the capital Damascus with drinking supplies. The opposition warns the ceasefire might collapse if the army campaign continues. But the army says its attacks target ISIL and Nusra fighters who are excluded from the ceasefire deal which was brokered by Russian and Turkish diplomats. As airstrikes ease elsewhere, protesters took to the streets denouncing the Syrian government and President Bashar al-Assad. They are urging rebel factions to unite and defend civilians. Rebels also rallied in Idlib, the final remaining opposition stronghold in northern Syria. The province may be the Syrian army's next target after taking over Aleppo. Syrians here remain defiant. We want to tell the world that our revolution continues. People are now coming out from their hideouts, from under the rebel with one message, either we win or we die. The sporadic fighting could jeopardize efforts by Russia and Turkey to narrow differences among Syria's warring parties. The Syrian government has scaled back its military operation across the country, however, the flaring fight in Wadi Barada could jeopardize the whole political process. I've been in touch with some members of the Syrian opposition and they say they are confident this time that the chances for this, sorry, they're concerned that the chances for the ceasefire to hold are slim and they blame Iran and Hezbollah for trying to destabilize uh, Syria. So it's a very delicate moment and we do understand that Russia and Turkey are willing to try to convince all the parties to implement the ceasefire to stop political talks. Russian delegates are expected to arrive in Ankara on the 9th of this month to try to look into the different violations of the ceasefire and give diplomacy what could be a final chance.